hello everybody and welcome back to my channel uh today we're gonna be making a delicious dengue i'm sorry i haven't uploaded a video uh of late but i am back and i am back with uh, a delicious meal a, a meal that we usually boil first before we cook it but today i'm gonna show you another way of doing it and making it as delicious as it can be so i have here green grams or dengu or rather some people call it mug beans and uh it's the small green grams i have uh, bell pepper uh green red and i have my tomato i have ginger and garlic i have carrots and i have onion and salt to taste and of course my seasoning so without wasting time let's head to the uh, stove and start cooking so on my pot here I have two and a half tablespoons of cooking oil and I am gonna put a half or quarter portion of my onion I had started the oil to heat up and so I'm gonna put some of the onion there to cook because like i told you i'm not gonna be boiling my dengu or mug beans or rather the green grams i'm gonna be cooking them with onion i'm gonna boil them with onion and so this is the first portion of it i'm gonna use onion and garlic salt and a half of my goya as i cook or boil my green grams so my onion is browning well there and i'm gonna add in my garlic i have two cloves of garlic and i cut them in half and i have two small sides of ginger and I'm gonna drop them when they are big that way I'll be able to take them out and then I'm gonna add in my gr green drums these green drums are not boiled so this is the way I'm gonna boil them but I'm gonna use onion garlic and ginger I'm gonna add in four cups of water. So I've added in uh, four cups of water. So I had already washed my green grams. And so I have here, that's how I'm gonna boil my green grams with onion and with the garlic and with ginger and i'm also gonna add my seasoning i'm not gonna add all of it i'm going to add just half of it and then the rest of it i'm gonna use it with the other portion that i'm gonna be using as i put my tomato and carrot so i'm gonna add also salt so that they can cook with salt And I'm gonna just cover them and give them about 25 to 30 minutes to finish cooking. I added four cups. It was two cups of green grams or dengu, and I added four cups of uh, the same measuring cup of water. I might add more water, but I'm gonna tell you as I continue with the video. But right now we're gonna let it. Our, we're gonna let our dengu cook. So my dangles took about 45 minutes to cook and they are over there, they are cooked. And now I'm here on this other pot with my onion, the leftover onion that I, want, that I left. And I added sugar free. 
two spoons of oil here and now I'm gonna let this onion cook have my onion cooking there and I have my carrots and of course my branded tomato bell pepper together and uh, my half goya so I'm gonna use all those things to add onto this pot as we finish up making our dango or rather green grams those who know is who knows it as green grams and uh, the one who knows it as mang beans mang beans m-u-n-g beans that's how the google tells me they are called so my onion is browning well here and I'm gonna add in the carrots and I'm gonna let the carrots cook until they are soft so I'm gonna give them like a like five minutes or so so that they can be soft so it has been five minutes now and the carrots are nice cooked and soft and so I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato and bell pepper I'm also gonna add the half of the sazon that was left and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt since I had added salt to my dengus or magmins so remember I said salt you put to your taste because there are some people who don't eat salt so we're gonna stir our pot and that's how it's looking we're gonna leave it for about another five minutes so that the the bell pepper can cook and you can stop smelling the low are the low bell pepper and then we're gonna add our mug beans One. so everything is well cooked here and I'm gonna pour out my beans my mug beans my dengue remember they were already cooked with onion oil and bell pepper ah, and uh, ginger and garlic I have my boiled water here let me measure so I have two cups here that I'm gonna add I'm gonna add in one cup first because I don't want to make a lot of soup I just want it to have some soup to serve with look at that it's 
So I added one cup of water. I'm gonna add another half cup of water. So I added one and a half cup of water. Look at that dango, look at those carrots and our tomato they have made, they have given it a color, it looks colorful, some greens and when you come to this part, make sure you put your stove on medium low so that it won't burn because it's going to start sticking on the bottom, so put it on medium low. Yeah, so we're gonna let it simmer for about two to three minutes because everything is already cooked. Our dango or mug beans are already cooked. Our carrots, uh, hoho, or rather bell peppers and tomato, also they are cooked. So we don't want it to sit on the stove for a long time because it's gonna stick on the bottom. So. We're gonna leave it there for two minutes because everything is cooked and our dengue will be ready to be served. So it has been about two minutes or two and a half minutes and everything is well mixed. Well, it has taken up everything and so our dengue is ready. And we're gonna empty it on our serving bowl. As you can see, there is our mug beans. This was only two cups. Two measuring cups and you can see how it's a lot this can serve about five or more or even ten people so our mug beans are ready or dangles are ready the dangles are good uh, in fiber they are also high or rich in protein and carbohydrates and uh, our dangle you can serve them with chapati like I'm serving them today I have my chapati here and keep on the watch i'll come up i'll come with a video of chapati so there you go that is our plate you can also serve it with uh, um ugali and also you can serve it with a uh, rice Boiled, boiled rice or any other kind of rice it's a good stew to use instead of using meat stew you can use the dango stew so this is our final product and i'm gonna be eating it with chapati today i hope you enjoyed so guys i hope you liked these videos i hope you liked this recipe of making the mug beans trust me if you try this you will not regret and you will not go back to the old way of boiling the mug beans or the dengue without using an onion and ginger and uh, garlic so if you like this video please don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe and share 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 with your friends tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel as we grow together thank you so much i love you guys see you next